So I always recommend doing this out in the open, that way your neighbors see what a hick you are. And then if you can have the back of your truck completely full of other shit, you know, unrelated to the immediate project, that will also sort of like ratchet up the uh, stupidity level of what you're doing here. So uh, with all that said, let's jump right into it. So what you do is you just grab a good uh, passenger seat cushion from the bottom and that comes off with a total of four bolts, two per side, so that's pretty easy. These are 12 millimeter bolts. This part here is a little bit more nuanced, but basically what you do is you um, unclip it from there, you cut a couple of hog rings and you just pull the whole thing off. Again, you just take a good passenger side one and then you add the little holes here for lumbar support. It slips right over and you can get rid of these kind of little, you know, tears from the guys coming in and out. I'm gonna clean this up before I install it. This is fresh from the junkyard and uh, Give me a few minutes, I'll show you some progress. So pretty straightforward, you got two little ties here. About halfway up the seat, you got two more ties. So you clip these two hog rings, and this is just a simple uh, hook and latch mechanism. And then there's two bolts here and two bolts here. You can slide the entire uh, thing off, but I'm not gonna slide the whole seat off. I'm just gonna slide off the cover, and I'll show you that in a second. This is where the other set of hog rings are, right here and right here. So after you get this about three quarters of the way up, you just clip those hog rings. You gotta get these little guys off too, but it's not that big of a deal. I'll show you that when I get there. This is how you get the little uh, plastic things from the headrest out. There's just a, uh, a clip there and you push it out, clip there and you push it out. You can't get it from the outside, you gotta peel it up like this. Of course, if you're taking apart the junk seat for the cover, just clip it off. All right, that's your old one off. You want to save this because this is good material to cover your uh, center console armrest with. You know, it matches and people are going to think like, wow, this this guy, like, what an awesome guy. He must be like a seamstress or something. But yeah, anyways, don't chuck this because this stuff's always good to use on something else. Anyhow, just a little trick for you. All right, now all you got to do is clean her up a little bit and she'll be presentable. The holes for this are actually behind the uh, outer fabric, so you, you don't really even have to try to figure out where to line them up. If you just look underneath, you can see it, so you just take a pair of snips and take care of it. Uh, and like I said, I mean, I'll just show you again. There's a little nut cert, there's a nut cert, there's two on each side, and they correspond to this. And then, of course, you put your plastic trim back over it, and you're good to go. So I always thought this was pretty nice, you know, because you normally you can find a good passenger but not a good driver. So what you do is if you're at the yard and you see two good passengers, you just pull the covers off and swap them on like while you're there because it's pretty straightforward to do. And then you'll have two good seats and you'll have a good seat for the one you're sitting in. So I'm going to clean this up and put this in. Thanks for watching. And that's the result, a set of matching seats, even though you're never going to find them. I mean, look, little stuff like that, you don't even slide in and out on that side but a lot better than what was in there and uh like i said just wanted to share a nice little trick for you these guys go in and out of the junkyard this is a nice way to get a matching set of seats without as much wear and tear on them all right thanks